Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name's Emma Cowley and today I'm going to be talking to you about personal branding. I've been a copywriter for pretty much eight years, bang on the nose, and I've been lucky enough to do a few branding projects in that time. It's one of my favourite things to work on. So I think that this kind of translates and segues nicely into personal branding. A lot of the concepts are the same. and. In this day and age there are so many copycats and so much saturation in such obvious areas that if you aren't afraid to step away from the crowd and really be yourself and be a thought leader in your specific area you can work wonders this is something that i actually think is quite a useful tool for just giving you a really really banging career boost you can be headhunted off of the back of having a great personal brand, you can get a huge online following, and your own personal projects, you're going to be able to get the backing and the support that you need just to do whatever you want with your own career and your own projects. So it's a really wicked thing to do, and it really takes very little time to actually do it. So I'm going to tell you how I would brand a company or a product and how you can actually use those techniques to brand yourself and be incredible in your own space and your own niche. The foundation of a great personal brand is isolating what you do best that nobody else can do quite like you. No, uh, no problem, right? <laughs> Just Really, it's finding your unique selling point, your area of expertise, your niche speciality, just that little corner of the market that you perfectly fit into that nobody else can. For example, there are a million shoe experts out there, but you might be a vegan shoe expert. You might be a film blogger, specifically noir films. You might be a content marketer that uses a specific technique or approach that nobody else has quite cottoned on to yet. Whatever that is, isolate that and lock it down. Then you're going to enhance that by picking out all of your personality traits that really make you a pleasure to work with. You are always known for delivering exactly to deadline each and every time. You are never late regardless. Or be perhaps you're renowned for thinking outside the box all the time. The ideas you come up with are so out of the blue, but they always work because they're just crazy. Maybe that's it. Whatever those traits are, you're going to want to add that to your personal branding because personal branding is about creating a connection with people. They want to know you. They want to buy into you as a person. So that is very, very important. Also, thinking about the execution, what would really be your brand tone of voice, which is really just you, 100% you, your delivery, your way. That is another thing that will help people get behind you and your branding because they know they are buying into a person. It's authentic, it's original. You're not trying to rip off somebody else. You are being yourself. And that is solid gold at the moment, let me tell you that. So what you've essentially got now that you've, you've isolated your unique selling point, your personality traits and really your delivery, what's going to make you sound like you, you have what is in essence a brand bible for yourself and your personal brand and now you need somewhere to put it and some way to use it. So what you're really looking for is a platform. The best thing in this case I'd suggest is your own website. Just make a little a little space for yourself just to get out and do your projects and talk about you, maybe pop a blog on there use it to showcase your projects perhaps or what you're interested in or what you stand for links through to it from social sites it's just giving you your own platform and forum to explore your personal brand and really live up to those values next up i would highly recommend doing a social media audit it's a really good idea to just go back over your biographies and your pictures maybe and make sure that your profile picture is representative of the kind of image you want to convey, you know, that you're fun, that you're creative, that you are dynamic, that you're serious, whatever that may be, and try and include some of that information in the biography as well, and obviously link to your website. And then make sure that the people that you're interacting with, following, surrounding yourself with, and the content that you're sharing all matches up to these goals, objectives, and the branding that you set for yourself. 
it's no good sharing a photo of when you got wasted two nights ago and threw up all over your mate's shoes. It's not really gonna it's not really gonna cut the mustard here, you guys. No. My final tip for having really great personal branding is to make sure that you're always giving or adding value to the people that follow you or are interested in you and your branding. So make sure that you're always giving interesting content on your blog or on your social channels or that you're being provocative, that you're opening up a conversation, you're saying, hey guys, what do you think about this? What do you think about that? That you're boosting other people as well who also are in on the conversation. And then you can really rise to the top and become a known figure in your industry and within your niche and it is then that you'll start to find that you're picking up a following and the reason that your following will be so into you is because you are unique and you are doing your own thing. So let's do a little recap shall we? You're going to isolate your unique selling point and whatever it is that makes you so good at what you do. You're going to pull out personality traits and really refine them down. Why do people like you? Why are you likeable? Why are you knowledgeable? Why are you an expert at what you do? Those are the things you need to get down on paper. Then you want to always be yourself in the delivery of that. Don't parrot anybody else's style, just get on with it. You'll need a platform on which to showcase your personal brand. A website is probably best, but if there are other ways that you feel like you can do that, just go for it, bro go for it. As I said, it's all about your form of self-expression and, and your way to, to execute your personal brand, so do it. Then a social media audit, just overhaul everything, bring it in line with the current branding and start to interact with people in the same space as you, bring yourself up in line with other people who are already leaders in that industry or in that space and really just generate content that has value for the people that follow you that are within your niche. So you eventually become a thought leader or a, an expert in your own special little niche. That was my, uh, that's my faster than loose tips on how to brand yourself. As I say, it's not anything, apart from the website, it's not anything that's going to take you a massively long time. You could probably even do it in a weekend and it's really worth doing. It really is and it can see you garner a lot of interesting and exciting opportunities off of the back of it. If you've got any questions that you'd like to ask me that I can answer in next week's video, you can pop a comment below, or you can call me out on Twitter, at jcownley, and I'll get back to you. Until then, take care and have a good week. See you back here, same time, same place, on Friday. Take care.